Hindustani Hindi, Hindustani Urdu, and Stani also known as Hindi Urdu, and historically also known as Hindavi, Diwali, and Rekta, is the lingua franca of northern India, most parts of India, Fiji and Pakistan. It is an Indo-Aryan language, deriving its base primarily from the Kariboli dialect of Delhi. The language incorporates a large amount of vocabulary from Prakrit, Persian and Arabic, as well as Sanskrit via Prakrit and Tatsuma borrowings. It is a pluricentric language, with two official forms, Modern Standard Hindi and Modern Standard Urdu, which are its standardized registers. According to Ethnologues 2017 estimates Hindustani is the third most spoken language in the world, with approximately 329.1 million native speakers, and 697.4 million total speakers. The colloquial registers are mostly indistinguishable, and even though the official standards are nearly identical in grammar, they differ in literary conventions and in academic and technical vocabulary, with Urdu adopting stronger Persian and Arabic influences, and Hindi relying more heavily on Sanskrit. Before the partition of India, the terms Hindustani, Hindi, and Urdu were synonymous, they all covered what would be mostly called Hindi and Urdu today. The term Hindustani is still used for the colloquial language and the lingua franca of North India and Pakistan, for example for the language of Bollywood films, as well as for several languages of the Hindi-Urdu belt spoken outside the Indian subcontinent, such as Fijian Hindi of Fiji and the Caribbean Hindustani of Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, and the rest of the Caribbean. Hindustani is also spoken by a small number of people in Mauritius and South Africa. Topic history Early forms of present-day Hindustani developed from the Middle Indo-Aryan Apabramsa vernaculars of present-day North India in the 7th-13th centuries. The generally accepted notion is that it was a purely Sanskritized Hindu language at first that took significant influence from invading Persian empires. Amir Khusro, who lived in the 13th century during the Delhi Sultanate period in North India, used these forms which was the lingua franca of the period in his writings and referred to it as Hindavi Persian, Endiway literally of Hindus or Indians. The Delhi Sultanate, which comprised several Turkic and Afghan dynasties that ruled from Delhi, was succeeded by the Mughal Empire in 1526. Although the Mughals were of Timurid Turco-Mongol descent, they were Persianized, and Persian had gradually become the state language of the Mughal Empire after Babur, a continuation since the introduction of Persian by Central Asian Turkic rulers in the Indian subcontinent, and the patronization of it by the earlier Turco-Afghan Delhi Sultanate. The basis in general for the introduction of Persian into the subcontinent was set, from its earliest days, by various Persianized Central Asian Turkic and Afghan dynasties, in the 18th century, towards the end of the Mughal period, with the fragmentation of the empire and the elite system, a variant of Kariboli, one of the successors of Apabramsa vernaculars at Delhi, and nearby cities, came to gradually replace Persian as the lingua franca among the educated elite upper class particularly in northern India, though Persian still retained much of its pre-eminence for a short period. The term Hindustani Persian, in Stani of Hindustan was the name given to that variant of Kariboli. For socio-political reasons, though essentially the variant of Kariboli with Persian vocabulary, the emerging prestige dialect became also known as zaban e urdu e muala language of the court or zaban e urdu zaban ardo, zabana e urdu language of the camp in Persian, derived from Turkic ordu camp, cognate with English horde, due to its origin as the common speech of the Mughal army. The more highly Persianized version later established as a language of the court was called Rekta, or mixed. As an emerging common dialect, Hindustani absorbed large numbers of Persian, Arabic, and Turkic words, and as Mughal conquests grew it spread as a lingua franca across much of northern India. Written in the Persian alphabet or Devanagari, it remained the primary lingua franca of northern India for the next four centuries although it varied significantly in vocabulary depending on the local language and achieved the status of a literary language, alongside Persian, in Muslim courts. Its development was centered on the poets of the Mughal courts of cities in Uttar Pradesh such as Delhi, Lucknow, and Agra. John Fletcher Hurst in his book published in 1891 mentioned that the Hindustani or camp language of the Mughal Empire's courts at Delhi was not regarded by philologists as distinct language but only as a dialect of Hindi with admixture of Persian. He continued, but it has all the magnitude and importance of separate language. It is linguistic result of Muslim rule of 11th and 12th centuries and is spoken except in rural Bengal by many Hindus in North India and by Muslim population in all parts of India. 
Next to English it was the official language of British Raj, was commonly written in Arabic or Persian characters, and was spoken by approximately 100 million people. When the British colonised the Indian subcontinent from the late 18th through to the late 19th century, they used the words Hindustani, Hindi and Urdu interchangeably. They developed it as the language of administration of British India, further preparing it to be the official language of modern India and Pakistan. However, with independence, use of the word Hindustani declined, being largely replaced by Hindi and Urdu, or Hindi Urdu when either of those was too specific. More recently, the word Hindustani has been used for the colloquial language of Bollywood films, which are popular in both India and Pakistan and which cannot be unambiguously identified as either Hindi or Urdu. Registers. <laughs> <laughs> Although, at the spoken level, Hindi and Urdu are considered registers of a single language, they differ vastly in literary and formal vocabulary, where literary Hindi draws heavily on Sanskrit and to a lesser extent Prakrit, literary Urdu draws heavily on Persian and Arabic. The grammar and base vocabulary most pronouns, verbs, adpositions, etc. of both Hindi and Urdu, however, are the same and derive from a Prakritic base, and both have Persian, Arabic influence. The standardized registers Hindi and Urdu are collectively known as Hindi-Urdu. Hindustani is perhaps the lingua franca of the north and west of the Indian subcontinent, though it is understood fairly well in other regions also, especially in the urban areas. A common vernacular sharing characteristics with Sanskritized Hindi, regional Hindi and Urdu, Hindustani is more commonly used as a vernacular than highly Sanskritized Hindi or highly Arabicized, Persianized Urdu. This can be seen in the popular culture of Bollywood or, more generally, the vernacular of North Indians and Pakistanis, which generally employs a lexicon common to both Hindi and Urdu speakers. Minor subtleties in region will also affect the brand of Hindustani, sometimes pushing the Hindustani closer to Urdu or to Hindi. One might reasonably assume that the Hindustani spoken in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh known for its usage of Urdu and Varanasi a holy city for Hindus and thus using highly Sanskritized Hindi is somewhat different. <laughs> Modern Standard Hindi Standard Hindi, one of the official languages of India, is based on the Karabal dialect of the Delhi region and differs from Urdu in that it is usually written in the indigenous Devanagari of India and exhibits less Persian and Arabic influence than Urdu. It has a literature of 500 years, with prose, poetry, religion and philosophy, under the Bahmani kings and onwards. It is prevalent all over the Deccan Plateau. Note that the term Hindustani has generally fallen out of common usage in modern India, except to refer to Indian as a nationality and a style of Indian classical music prevalent in northern India. The term used to refer to it is Hindi or Urdu, depending on the religion of the speaker, and regardless of the mix of Persian or Sanskrit words used by the speaker. One could conceive of a wide spectrum of dialects and registers, with the highly Persianized Urdu at one end of the spectrum and a heavily Sanskrit-based dialect, spoken in the region around Varanasi, at the other end. In common usage in India, the term Hindi includes all these dialects except those at the Urdu spectrum. Thus, the different meanings of the word Hindi include, among others, Standardized Hindi as taught in schools throughout India except some states such as Tamil Nadu, Formal or official Hindi advocated by Purushottam Das Tandon and as instituted by the post-independence Indian government, heavily influenced by Sanskrit. The vernacular dialects of Hindustani as spoken throughout India. The neutralized form of Hindustani used in popular television and films, or The more formal neutralized form of Hindustani used in television and print news reports. Modern Standard Urdu Urdu is the national language of Pakistan and an officially recognized regional language of India. Urdu is the official language of all Pakistani provinces and is taught in all schools as a compulsory subject up to the 12th grade. It is also an official language in the Indian states of Jammu and Kashmir, national capital territory of Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, and Telangana that have significant Muslim populations. Bazaar Hindustani 
In a specific sense, Hindustani may be used to refer to the dialects and varieties used in common speech, in contrast with the standardized Hindi and Urdu. This meaning is reflected in the use of the term bazaar Hindustani, in other words, the language of the street or the marketplace, as opposed to the perceived refinement of formal Hindi, Urdu, or even Sanskrit. Thus, the Webster's New World Dictionary defines the term Hindustani as the principal dialect of Hindi, Urdu, used as a trade language throughout North India and Pakistan. Names Amir Khusro ca. 1300 referred to this language of his writings as Diwali, Dahalavi Dialwi of Delhi or Hindavi. Hindavi and During this period, Hindustani was used by Sufis in promulgating their message across the Indian subcontinent. After the advent of the Mughals in the subcontinent, Hindustani acquired more Persian loanwords. Rekta mixture and Hindi Indian became popular names for the same language until the 18th century. The name Urdu appeared around 1780. During the British Raj, the term Hindustani was used by British officials. In 1796, John Northwick Gilchrist published a, a Grammar of the Hindustani Language. Upon partition, India and Pakistan established national standards that they called Hindi and Urdu, respectively, and attempted to make distinct, with the result that Hindustani commonly, but mistakenly, came to be seen as a mixture of Hindi and Urdu. Grierson, in his highly influential linguistic survey of India, proposed that the names Hindustani, Urdu, and Hindi be separated in use for different varieties of the Hindustani language, rather than as the overlapping synonyms they frequently were. We may now define the three main varieties of Hindustani as follows. Hindustani is primarily the language of the Upper Gangetic Dobe, and is also the lingua franca of India, capable of being written in both Persian and Deva Nagari characters, and without purism, avoiding alike the excessive use of either Persian or Sanskrit words when employed for literature. The name Urdu can then be confined to that special variety of Hindustani in which Persian words are of frequent occurrence, and which hence can only be written in the Persian character, and, similarly, Hindi can be confined to the form of Hindustani in which Sanskrit words abound, and which hence can only be written in the Devanagari character. <laughs> Literature Official status Hindi, a major standardized register of Hindustani, is declared by the Constitution of India as the official language, Rajabhasa Rajabhasa of the Union. Art. 343 in this context, Union means the federal government and not the entire country. India has 23 official languages. At the same time, however, the definitive text of federal laws is officially the English text and proceedings in the higher appellate courts must be conducted in English. At the state level, Hindi is one of the official languages in nine of the 29 Indian states and three union territories respectively, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Uttarakhand, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Himachal Pradesh, and Haryana, Delhi, Chandigarh, and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. In the remaining states Hindi is not an official language. In states like Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, studying Hindi is not compulsory in the state curriculum. However an option to take the same as second or third language does exist. In many other states, studying Hindi is usually compulsory in the school curriculum as a third language the first two languages being the state's official language and English, though the intensiveness of Hindi in the curriculum varies. Urdu, also a major standardized register of Hindustani, is also one of the languages recognized in the eighth schedule to the Constitution of India and is an official language of the Indian states of Telangana, Bihar, Delhi, Jammu and Kashmir, and Uttar Pradesh. Although the government school system in most other states emphasizes modern standard Hindi, at universities in cities such as Lucknow, Aligarh and Hyderabad, Urdu is spoken and learnt, and SAAF or Kali's Urdu is treated with just as much respect as Shuddha Hindi. Urdu is also the national language of Pakistan, where it shares official language status with English. Although English is spoken by many, and Punjabi is the native language of the majority of the population, Urdu is the lingua franca. Hindustani was the official language of the British Raj and was synonymous with both Hindi and Urdu. 
After India's independence in 1947, the Sub-Committee on Fundamental Rights recommended that the official language of India be Hindustani. Hindustani, written either in Devanagari or the Perso-Arabic script at the option of the citizen, shall, as the national language, be the first official language of the Union." However, this recommendation was not adopted by the Constituent Assembly. <laughs> Hindustani outside South Asia Besides being the lingua franca of North India and Pakistan in South Asia, Hindustani is also spoken by many in the South Asian diaspora and their descendants around the world, including North America. In Canada, for example, Hindustani is one of the fastest growing languages, Europe, and the Middle East. Fiji Hindi was derived from the Hindustani linguistic group and is spoken widely by Fijians of Indian origin. Hindustani was also one of the languages that was spoken widely during British rule in Burma. Many older citizens of Myanmar, particularly Anglo-Indians and the Anglo-Burmese, still know it, although it has had no official status in the country since military rule began. Hindustani is also spoken in the countries of the Gulf Cooperation Council, where migrant workers from various countries live and work for several years. <laughs> Phonology Topic Grammar Topic Vocabulary Hindustani contains around five thousand five hundred words of Persian and Arabic origin. Topic Writing system Historically, Hindustani was written in the Kaithi, Devanagari, and Urdu alphabets. Kaithi and Devanagari are two of the Brahmic scripts native to India, whereas Urdu is a derivation of the Persian Nastalik script, which is the preferred calligraphic style for Urdu. Today, Hindustani continues to be written in the Urdu alphabet in Pakistan. In India, the Hindi register is officially written in Devanagari, and Urdu in the Urdu alphabet, to the extent that these standards are partly defined by their script. However, in popular publications in India, Urdu is also written in Devanagari, with slight variations to establish a Devanagari Urdu alphabet alongside the Devanagari Hindi alphabet. Because of Anglicization in South Asia and the international use of the Latin script, Hindustani is occasionally written in the Latin script. This adaptation is called Roman Urdu or Romanized Hindi, depending upon the register used. Because the Bollywood film industry is a major proponent of the Latin script, the use of Latin script to write in Hindi and Urdu is growing amongst younger Internet users. Since Urdu and Hindi are mutually intelligible when spoken, Romanized Hindi and Roman Urdu unlike Devanagari Hindi and Urdu in the Urdu alphabet are mutually intelligible as well. <laughs> Sample text Following is a sample text, Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, in the two official registers of Hindustani, Hindi and Urdu. Because this is a formal legal text, differences in formal vocabulary are maximized. Formal Hindi Anukata, Sabi Manusiom ko Garava Ora Adhikaram K Visaya Mem Janmajata Svatantrata Prapta Hyam Unhem Buddhi Ora Antaratma Ki Dina Prapta Hai Ora Paraspara Unhem Baikare K Bhava Se Bartava Karana Kahai Nastalik Transcription Transliteration IAST Anuched 1, Sabi Manishyan ko Garav Aur Adhikaran K Vishe Men Janmajat Svatantrata Prapt Hain Unhen buddhi aur antaratma ki den prapt hai aur paraspar unhen bicher k bhav se bartav karna chahi, transcription IPA. Ent ed ek sb i man jo ko r d kao k viaj mi dnm dat estienda papt h n bd, entatma ki den papt h, psb n b i t k b a se bda na to he gloss word to word. Article 1 all human beings to dignity and rights matter in from birth freedom acquired is. 
them to reason and conscience's endowment acquired as and always them to brotherhood's spirit with behavior to do should. Translation Grammatical. Article 1. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Formal Urdu Devanagari transcription Dafa Tamama Inasana Izada Ora Hukyuka O Izada K Itabara Se Barabara Peda Hu Hyam Inhem Zamira Ora Akla Vidyata Way Hyam Isali Inhem Aka Dusare K Satha Bai Ker Ka Saluka Karana Kahie Transliteration Ala LC Daf A1, Tamam Insan Azad Aur Hukuk O Izat K I Tabar Se Barabar Peda Hue Hain. Unhen Zamir Aur Aql Wad at Hui He. Islaye Unhen Ek Dusra K Soth by Chair Ka Sulak Karna Chahie, Transcription IPA. Diefa Ek Tienum Ensan Azad, H Kuk O Is T K Tba Se Bab Pedia He H N Zami. Ql dit hi h sli n ek dus k sat b i te ka sluk na to he gloss word to word. Article 1 All humans free, and rights and dignities consideration from equal born are. To them conscience and intellect endowed us. Therefore, they one another's with brotherhood's treatment do must. Translation Grammatical Article 1 All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience. Therefore, they should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. <inaudible> Hindustani and Bollywood The predominant Indian film industry Bollywood, located in Mumbai, Maharashtra uses Hindi, Kariboli dialect, Bombay Hindi, Urdu, Awadi, Rajasthani, Bhojpuri, and Braj Basha, along with the language of Punjabi and with the liberal use of English or Hinglish for the dialogue and soundtrack lyrics. Movie titles are often screened in three scripts, Latin, Devanagari and occasionally Perso-Arabic. The use of Urdu or Hindi in films depends on the film's context. Historical films set in the Delhi Sultanate or Mughal Empire are almost entirely in Urdu, whereas films based on Hindu mythology or ancient India make heavy use of Hindi with Sanskrit vocabulary. Topic: See also Languages of India Languages of Pakistan List of Hindi authors List of Urdu writers Adeen and Begum Hindustani romanization Notes <laughs>